that when we're talking about preparing the bull for the breeding season, we're predominantly looking at three things. Uh, first of all, the role of the bull and its role in the herd. Secondly, preparing and monitoring the bull during the breeding season. And thirdly, what can potentially go wrong. Uh, in terms of the role of the bull, we're looking at maximising the number of cows in the herd and heifers that are in calf. And we're trying to have them in calf to high genetic herd calves that can be used as replacements and also that will provide high value dairy beef cattle in the future. The maximum number of cows and calves allows us to have options later on in the season for culling due to high somatic cell count, lameness or other issues. So with these bulls we're looking for genetic improvement, uh, we're looking for valuable calves, we're looking for ease of calving and ideally we're looking for traffic station. When it comes to preparing the bull, uh, firstly with young bulls it's important that we get them into the herd at the time. This allows the bull time to acclimatise but it also allows us time to vaccinate the young bull against the diseases which are prevalent in that farm. And it's important that the young bull fits in with the protocols in that herd. Um, low fertility is a major issue in all bulls and it is very worthwhile and very important to fertility test the bulls prior to the breeding season. Getting your bed to do this we need to a physical exam where they look at the heart, the lungs, the body condition score of the animal, his general physical condition and his movement and mobility and any, also any possible defects the bull may have which you need flat at the time. We also look at the internal and external gelatabia of the animal to look for any abnormalities and we collect semen and look at the semen quality. The number of bulls required in any farm will vary very much according to the individual bulls but as a general rule we could take it that one mature bull to every 30 breeding animals and one young bull to every 15 breeding animals. However even within this it's important that bulls are rotated and um, this allows time for the bulls to rest and recover um, from bouts of high activity. Once the bulls are released, it's important to monitor their reproductive behaviour, their libido, and their ability to actually start females. Libido can be impacted greatly due to any physical problems, uh, be it lameness, penile issues, or any illness. Another factor that comes into play in terms of libido is obesity, and high energy diets are known to directly affect the libido. During this time, it's important to maintain records of how the bulls are performing. Uh, it's important that if high numbers of cows are coming into heat at the same time, that you keep up using AI, as the bulls may not be able to keep serving the numbers of cows that are actually coming into heat. This is a, a major factor for high numbers of animals within the herd, be it heifers or cows are synchronised, as this would lead to high numbers of animals coming back into heat at the same time. Finally, what can go wrong? The most common issue with a lot of these bulls can be going on can be lameness. This is often due to the distances the bulls are actually traveling, just in terms of following cows around the paddock, and also the distances that are traveled to and from the grazing platform. So again, it's important to rotate bulls to allow them time to rest. The major issue in terms of these bulls and what can go wrong comes down to the basic concept of thermoregulation. The testicles need to be at a temperature of 2 to 6 degrees centigrade below the core temperature of the body. Anything that affects this temperature will affect the fertility of the bull. This can be impacted through illness or through the ambient weather conditions at the time. Um, very high temperatures can lead to a massive sudden deterioration of sperm quality and spermatogenesis in the bull. So it is important to remember during hot days uh, days when it's very warm outside, when the bull is very, very active, that his temperature may spike too high and it may affect his fertility for the rest of the season. So again, the things we're looking at are the role of the bull, preparing the bull and monitoring the bull. And monitoring the bull is absolutely vital and being conscious of the things that could go wrong and taking measures to try and prevent those issues.